This service is provided in high definition by free conference call HD.com. Please enter your access code. Come on, let's go ahead and give God praise. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory, glory. Hallelujah, Jesus. Yes, God, you're wonderful, Jesus. You are wonderful, Jesus. Glory, God. Glory, glory. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to your name, God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, God. God, you're so faithful, God. Yes, God. Oh, God, you're so wonderful, Jesus. Thank you, God. We honor you. God, you're wonderful, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh God, you're wonderful, Jesus. You are wonderful. You are wonderful. You are wonderful. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory, glory. Hallelujah. Glory, glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You're so faithful. You're so faithful. Glory, glory. Hallelujah. I just want to welcome everybody to the call today. Today we're going to cover bitterness. Amen. Um, and we're going to pray as Holy Spirit is leading us to pray. Amen. So, Father, we just give you praise and we just forgive the people that have hurt us. We forgive, God, those that, Lord, that used us, that betrayed us, that made us feel some kind of way. We bless them now in Jesus' mighty name, Lord. And, God, we just cover our heart and our emotions today with your blood, Father. And, God, we just give it all to you, God. The disappointments, the setbacks, God, the pain, oh, God. And we refuse to be bitter. We refuse to be bitter. And instead, I prophesy we're going to get better this year. We're going to get better in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare we're going Going to grow in our gifts we're going to grow in the power of god on our lives we're going to grow and we're going to do greater exploits for you god we don't have time to be holding on to pain we don't have time to be holding on to hurt we don't have time to be holding grudges we don't have time to be li reliving the offense in the name of jesus that that's you today i decree and declare today you're going to get set free today in jesus name you don't have time to be worrying about you know who said this about you you and who said that about you i decree and declare we're on another level today in jesus name and i prophesy that when we let go of the offenses that the doors that you've been praying about are going to bust open for you i prophesy when you let go and let god have his way then you're going to get some manifestations to your prayers I prophesy right now when you let go of the bitterness, the offense, the pain, being an emotional wreck because somebody said this about you and somebody said that about you. I prophesy when you let go of it and bless your haters, bless your enemies, then you're going to walk in a greater level of anointing in Jesus name. Come on, I decree and declare, come on, we're not going to be hostile towards nobody. If somebody want to be ugly to, towards us, let them be ugly by themselves. We're going to bring them before God and bless them in Jesus' name. I prophesy, amen, that we're not going to be trying to hurt them because we're hurting. We're not going to try to uh, uh, be miserable because... The, the saying says misery loves company the devil is a liar i decree and declare right now we're not going to be uh, uh distasteful we're not going to uh hurt the holy spirit we're not going to grieve the holy spirit anymore be, by taking matters into our own hands i prophesy amen that we're going to be be the bigger person and just be quiet i'm talking to somebody today god wants you to be the bigger person and be quiet stop trying to argue stop trying to get the last word in stop trying to prove yourself that you're all bad and grown and and nobody talk like you talk to you like that let god handle it i decree and declare today exodus 14 14 that we're gonna be still and the lord's about to fight our battles we're about to 
see vindication come from the north. We're about to see vindication come from the south. We're about to see vindication come from the west. We're about to see vindication come from the east because God is coming mightily, strongly, and powerfully as never before to cause vindication in our lives because we are his children and no one gets away with nothing. God says in his word that he is not mocked whatsoever someone sows, they're going to reap that. So Lord, I thank you in advance. We just thank God in advance for vindication. Get ready for the apologies to come forth. Just keep your heart pure and your hands clean. I decree it that God, you create in us a pure heart and renew a steadfast spirit within us that our hands will be clean in this situation. Come on, prophesy over your hands. My hands are going to be clean in this situation. Come on. People got an attitude with you, roll their eyes at you for no reason. Don't you know the devil operates in the flesh realm? But I prophesy we're going to see that devil. We're going to be able to discern that devil. We're not going to argue with that devil anymore. We're going to say, you know what? In the name of Jesus, come out. I see you. The word of God says the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God for pulling out strongholds. So we're not going to worry about what that devil is doing through that person in Jesus' name. Come on. We're on another level. I prophesy we got a new perspective. I prophesy that our mindset is changing in the name of Jesus. We're not going to get bitter at our in-laws anymore. Nobody. If God puts you together, you and your husband, you and your wife, nobody can put it asunder in Jesus' name. Nobody can tear you apart. Our, our marriages, our relationships are covered in the blood of Jesus. We're not going to get bitter because some of our in-laws are bitter. We're not going to get bitter and hate them because they're miserable and they're trying to tear us up because they want us to, 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 to be messed up like they're messed up. But we bless them anyhow in the name of Jesus. Jesus, come on. Say, I bless my, my, and some of you, on somebody on this line is dealing with some hateful in-laws, but we bless them anyhow in the name of Jesus. We bless them anyhow in the name of Jesus because we don't have time before the enemy to be using us because God is going to use us. God is using us. Amen. The enemy and God can't use the same vessel. Amen. Point to yourself. Say, the enemy will no longer use me in Jesus' name. Say it like you mean it. The enemy will no longer use me in Jesus' name. Come on. God is using me. Come on. God is using me in Jesus' name. Mm, Jesus. Come on. No more waking up angry. No more, you know, plotting and planning and, 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 and trying to take matters in your own hands. No more going to bed angry in Jesus' name. No more. No more. Come on. Say this out your mouth like you mean it today. The devil will no longer have a foothold in my life. Come on. I close the door to bitterness now in Jesus' name. Come on, we're going to sit because the devil about to exit our lives. Somebody has, the enemy has a legal right to torment you, but we close the portal to hell today in our lives. We close it shut in Jesus' name. That door going to be closed shut so tight. Amen. The devil can't even open it again in Jesus' name. Come on, the enemy will no longer influence us anymore. Somebody's being influenced, but we come against that in Jesus' name for the fire God on this word. Come on, somebody on here being tormented in your mind? Say the devil will no longer harass my mind in Jesus' name. Come on, point to yourself. Say greater is he that's in me than him that's in the world in Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Come on, say I got victory over this situation. I got victory. Come on. I have a word for somebody on this line. The Lord wants you to know, don't get bitter. Don't, don't, don't allow your heart to get hard because somebody owe you some money. Come on. Let that go. I'm talking to somebody. You're bitter. You're talking about a person like they're a dog. Well, they, 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 they a liar. They say, gonna, listen, let that go. That's between them and God. Amen. God's going to make sure you get your money back in another way. I'm talking to somebody. Amen. You had a falling out with an individual over money and now your heart is callous towards them. Come on, we're going to get we gonna get set free today in Jesus' name. We're not going to, you know, <clears throat> hate somebody because they owe us some money. Really? Over $50? Really? Over $100? That's, that's small. Come on. 
Why does this sound so petty? Oh, they owe me $25. And I I, I just, ugh, they're a liar. And then they ain't no, they ain't good for nothing. You talk about them like a dog. You tear them down with your mouth and your words. Come on now. We're going to, maybe they can't pay you back. Okay. Well, okay. You ever thought about that? Maybe they're one paycheck away from being homeless. You ever thought about that? Okay. Okay. Lord Jesus, bless us, oh God, to let it go today in Jesus' name. Whatever it is. Amen. Some of us still mad at people in middle school. You know how long you've been out of middle school? You know how long you've been out of high school? Come on, let's stop being ridiculous. Let's stop being petty. Well, she was my enemy in high school. Well, we bless them now in Jesus' name. We keep it moving. We're not going to relive the hate and the, the pain they may put us through and the harassment they did to us while we was in school. Come on. Some of us been out of school 20, 30 years and you still holding on to the offense. What you mean you beefing? We're going to let that go in Jesus' name, right? We're going to let go of the beef. We're going to let go of the pain. We don't have time. If you're up here fighting somebody, we're going to go to jail. We're going to get arrested. We don't got time to be in no jail cell somewhere rotting away. The devil is a liar. We will not fall for Satan's traps. We will not fall. Come on. Point to your feet. Say, I will not fall by for Satan's traps. I will not fall. I will not stumble in Jesus' name. I will not stumble. Come on. Say, the devil will not get me in my flesh in Jesus' name. The devil will not get me in my flesh in Jesus' name. Come on. I decree and declare we got wisdom. Amen. On this line, wisdom as never before. God, give us wisdom. Give us wisdom. Show us how to respond. Amen. We got to know how to talk to people. Some of us don't know how to talk to people. Some of us, you blurt the first thing out that comes to your mind. That's foolish. But I prophesy this afternoon where we're going to learn how to talk to people in Jesus' name. I'm talking to somebody today. Come on. Not everybody. Somebody say, well, nobody like me. I'm alone. How you talk to people? You can tell people the truth without saying it a certain way. I'm talking to somebody on this line today. Lord, help us, God, in Jesus' name. Come on, prophesy this. I say, sin has no power over me in Jesus' name. Sin has no power over me in Jesus' name. Come on. Say, I'm not going to hold on to bitterness. I'm not going to hold on to pain in Jesus' name. Come on. I will not allow bitterness to cause me to be sick in Jesus' name. It will not, it will not cause us to be sick. Come on, we will not have we will not have no cancer because we're bitter. We will not have no uh, diabetes because we're bitter. We will not have no uh, respiratory infections because we're bitter. Come on, we we close the enemy all the way out of our life today in Jesus' name. Yeah, we will not have no arthritis, nothing. Come on, some of us sick in our body because we holding on to to garbage. Come on, we are gonna let that stuff go today in Jesus' name. Come on. Say, God is love and not of hatred. Come on. Come on. He's love. And I prophesy, amen, we are going to walk in love towards people. We're going to walk in love. I decree and declare, we're going to walk in love in Jesus' name. We're going to walk in love in Jesus' name. Come on, we, we, we're going to love the hell out of some people in the name of Jesus. Amen. Love conquers all. Love conquers all. And I decree and declare, we're going to have the love of God shining uh, through our pores, coming, radiating out of our pores. We're going to have the love of God all around us, surrounding us, that when we get around someone that, you know, that makes us feel some kind of way, they're going to feel the, the presence of God coming up out of us in Jesus' name. They're going to feel his love coming up out of us in Jesus' name. I decree that so in the name of Jesus. Come on, forgive those people. We're going to be out of crowd to God for a little bit and then we're going to transition back. Amen. But today marks the day we get set free. Today is the day that we forgive those of their trespasses against us. Today is the day when we put that person on the altar. Because somebody on this line today, every time you see a certain individual, you, you get in your flesh. You say, oh, I can't stand that person. Every time you see a certain individual, you know, you, you just, you just, it just, you relive the moment. But we're going to put this on the altar today. Amen. So if this is you today, and if you know somebody that's struggling with unforgiveness, you need to be standing in the gap. 
You need to be standing in proxy for them so they can get set free in Jesus' name. Amen. I, amen. I feel the Lord, before we get into this crying out, I feel the Lord healing somebody's right shoulder. Amen. I command you to be healed in Jesus' name. All right, so let's put this on the altar today. Everybody that hurt, hurt you, we're going to just release them. If you want to say their name in prayer, or you want to just lift your hands up as an act of surrenderance, we're just going to just put it on the altar. Father, we give, we forgive God, the people that hurt our children, the people in our families, God, that, that talked about us like a dog, the people that we thought were our best friends that turned their back on us, the people that hurt us in ministry. God, forgive the people that hurt us in business. God, we forgive God, Lord God, the people, Lord God, that attacked us on social media, that didn't even know us. We, we, we forgive God, our haters, Lord. We bless them now. We cast our cares right now in Jesus' name. We forgive forgive we forgive we forgive God we forgive God it's not worth us going to hell God because we are full of hate it's not worth us going to hell God because we ain't forgive nobody Lord you said God the same way we forgive those Lord you're gonna forgive us God so God we, we, we let it go today in Jesus name amen Lord we forgive so we can oh inherit the kingdom of God come on we're gonna forgive so we can receive our inheritance we're going to receive the gift of eternal life that's never before in Jesus name we're not going to be blocked and hindered in Jesus name amen the devil will not steal us of eternal life the devil will not uh, cause us to be hell bound because we're hurting because you know we want people to suffer because we're suffering because we want people to be miserable because we're miserable those days are over I prophesy come on forgive 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 in Jesus name God send your fire God send your fire Lord burn up God every hardness of heart on this line today burn it up God every offense God burn up every grudge God put a love in our heart God for our haters put a love in our heart God towards our enemies God God we forgive them God Lord I don't even know what they're doing some of these people don't even know that they're demonly influenced in the name of Jesus we forgive them God today God send fire God send fresh fire God even if we wanted to hold on to the grudge God we can't Lord God bless us to pray for our enemies bless us God to pray for our co-workers God that we don't even like bless them God put a love in our heart towards them in the name of Jesus God oh God we thank you father come on we thank you come on we thank you God we repent God for grieving you we repent God Lord for holding on to stuff that you told us to let go come on we're gonna forgive you gotta just say God I bless them ten times a day you gotta say God I bless them a thousand times a day that's what we're gonna do we're gonna bless them bless them bless them bless them bless them in Jesus name come on you can do it Stop holding on. Stop being stubborn. I bind up stubbornness in Jesus' name. We can do all things in Christ that strengthens us. We can do it. We will do it. Amen. Because we, we don't have time for stuff to get denied because of we were wounded and hurt. The devil is a liar. Come on. We want everything that God has for us. Come on, we, some of us believe it for our house, we're believing for a job, promotion, that car, that relationship, that restoration, you're believing for your deliverance, your healing, you're believing for salvation, and you're holding on to bitterness, you want to hinder that from manifesting in your life, you're believing for opportunities and got to increase your credit report, you're believing, you know, just for a favor as never before, and you're believing, come on, for God to do the miraculous in your life and through you, and take your ministry and business to the next level, but you mean to tell you can't forgive come on the devil is a liar we're gonna forgive today in jesus name and we're gonna let go of the offense come on some of us are way down and heavy but some of us are just burning down by just you know just hate hatred and just uh just walking around here because we got you know uh a chip on our shoulder nobody talks to me like that come on we're on a different level if the world hated jesus they're gonna hate us also if the world didn't receive jesus they're not gonna receive us amen because the world receives us own the world didn't know jesus so i decree and declare we're not gonna walk around here with a chip on our shoulder we're gonna let it go in the name of jesus we're gonna let it go in jesus name come on prophesy this out your mouth amen i feel something breaking amen so i'm gonna let all bitterness and wrath go in jesus name Come on, I'm going to let all the anger go and slander go in Jesus' name.
Come on, I want to put far away from me any malice in Jesus' name. Come on, I decree and declare a soft answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stares up anger. So we're going to speak right. We're going to speak the right way in Jesus' name. Come on, prophesy this out your mouth. Amen. I will not repay evil for evil. I don't care to be ugly. I'm not going to repay evil for evil.